Welcome back, Rankers, or should I say, welcome back to me, because I've been away in Bali, and I'll tell you what, it's good to be in Melbourne when it's four degrees after coming from a climate that was 31 degrees yesterday, and getting back under the lights, because it feels like I'm still in Bali, so it's wonderful having the floodlights on. <sighs> nice and warm. Okay, um, first off, I just want to quickly point out the, uh, when we spoke at the, when I spoke at the Marketing Now conference in um, New Zealand back in April, went so well that uh, Siobhan, um, Siobhan uh, Bulfin is now running a series of workshops on SEO, which I'll be doing, running, she's promoting. Um, but if you, if you are in New Zealand, um, there's about five cities I think we're going to from July 20 to July 24, but head across to marketingnow.co.nz. That's marketingnow.co.nz if you are in New Zealand and you wanna learn about SEO. We're gonna cover everything that you need to do in uh, some half day workshops in New Zealand. So they're booking up fast, I do know that. So get across to marketingnow.co.nz if you are in New Zealand. Okay, a lot of people have asked me about this over um, previous months and it's been changing a bit, but I thought uh, we'd have a look at it today because um, on the Google Webmaster Central blog, they've actually got a good video up about how to use this particular function I'm gonna show you today. Uh, it's about shopping results that you may have seen in some of the Google results. It's actually called Google, Google Product Search, but I've just done a search here, which is Canon 1000D SLR, which happens to be the camera uh, that I own and some of you have seen the photos from. And if you have a look up here, the first result is shopping results for Canon 1000D SLR. Now that's a really, really qualified search in that I've told Google exactly what it is that I'm looking for. Google can then go and have a look at its product search database and say, well, we've got a few of these Canon digital SLRs um, in our database. Interestingly, though, there's nothing that um, is a complete match for that particular search. But how do you get your products and uh, services up here? Well, it's actually only for products, not services, so sorry about that. Um, uh, for those of you who have asked me. Um, but basically, if you have this really, really suits online uh, e-tailers. So if you are a, an organization out there that has a large database of products, uh, and this can be even on an eBay store, if you have an existing eBay store or something like that, where you're doing a large database of products, Google Product Search is great for getting your products into the search results when someone does a, a search on a particular product that you might be selling. It's based on the old Google Base. Um, now, some of you may have heard of the old Google Base, which was basically like an old classifieds area that you used to be able to use in Google. But it's, it's basically just structured information, okay? And what Google does, it has, um, if, you, if you go to uh, google.com forward slash products, then go down to information for sellers, you will see that you can start a data feed, or actually I won't start a data feed, what I will do is we'll post a single item. And what you do is you basically you pr provide a feed to Google if you've got a, um, a large amount of products, or if you've only got half a dozen, just, just try it with half a dozen if, um, if that's all you have. But these listings will only remain live for, for 30 days, so that's why I say it suits more uh, an online store where you have a large volume of products that are constantly changing and updating. Uh, if you've got a big store with lots of products that is constant, that you know you, you might be changing every day or every hour, submit a feed, set up the, um, your system, and you get your web developers to set up the feed so it's submitting every time you update your particular database of products. Basically, there's a number of um, attributes for each product that they have in the Google product search. Product type, um, you can see over here we've got you know, you know, UPC, size, model number, all these other sorts of things. You can actually start, you can create some of your own attributes. Uh, so, okay, so that gets your products, your products into Google product search, but how do you actually get them appearing in the search results? Well, like everything that Google does, it's about relevancy. So if I'm typing in Canon 1000D SLR, probably if someone had have had a product in the Google product um, search, which basically said Canon 1000D SLR was the product name, uh, maybe the description started off with Canon 1000D SLR. It, once again, it's about keywords and key phrases, 
and the the frequency of, of that or the, the density of those phrases within a given um, product set. So it's like everything else they do. Make sure if you are going to do this that you're using descriptive descriptive uh, keywords in you know wherever you can throughout the uh, the feed that you're creating for Google. I'm not going to get into how you create the feed and what attributes you can use and all those sorts of things because that's a whole other uh, area and I would suggest you speak to your web developer about that. But when you are setting up these feeds, make sure that uh, you are using your keywords in them, but use, use them especially in the description, I would say. Google said that um, Basically, the way that they will rank sites in here, if we go to this particular page here, we'll see there's 137 of the stores here. The way that they will rank will be based on reputation. Now, we, are, we know that when Google talks about reputation, usually they're talking about things like uh, how many other sites are linking to your site to, to get an idea of your reputation. Um, but also, relevancy is really, really important to Google when it comes to this. But, I mean, if you, if you have a look up here, you know, the top some of the top rated sellers up here have got all these different seller ratings where you can rate, you know, basically I had a good experience, I had a bad experience, all those sorts of things. So that's one of the other ways that they will work out whether or not you have a good reputation online. But the key here is to, if you are doing, if you do have an online store, this is another avenue for you to get your products out in front of people um, that may not actually know that you exist and also very very importantly at the moment it's only available for google.com or the US market uh, Google UK and also Google Germany but if you're selling into those markets you should have your uh, your your product search set up and that's it for today's show just before we go though I just want to say congratulations to Keith Keller a long time viewer um, Keith's uh, radio show uh, or career communicate radio has uh, made it into the finals of Richard Branson's Pitch TV. Now you can go and uh, vote uh, for Keith's show, Career Communicate Radio, down here on uh, entrepreneur.version.com. I'll put the link in the email, and uh, hopefully you can see it there as well, nice and easy. Um, but uh, congratulations, well done, Keith and co and everyone who's helped them uh, get there but basically go and have a look at that and uh vote for keith and if you if he wins he'll uh, he'll get his show onto um virgin atlantic tv so that's it for today's show thanks for watching great to be back we'll see you next week bye